This is the British Playboy millionaire who wrecked his £270,000 Rolls Royce after crashing into a shop in Majorca with two bikini-clad beauties Jody Sanders reportedly lost control of his vehicle car after his sandals got caught in the pedals as he reversed up the road and before smashing into a tobacco shop. Locals said he vanished with his two young female friends before traffic cops arrived to breath test him, abandoning his badly damaged Rolls Royce Don Coupe. Footage of the moment the car crashed appeared to show the exposed bottoms of one of the women believed to be South Americans poking out of the Rolls as she was hit by flying glass. Sanders, thought to be in his 30s and from Warwickshire, flaunts his wealth on social media, with pictures showing him swigging from a bottle of champagne at the wheel of an expensive car thought to be the one he crashed in. He drives a Lamborghini and Mercedes Sport as well as the Rolls with the personalized number plate Jody which he crashed. Sanders, who makes no secret of his well-honed body with a string of photos showing off his rippling stomach muscles and biceps, is thought to divide his time between a mansion in the UK and a luxury villa on Majorca, near the crash scene. The manager of the shop Maria Maynard said this morning that Mr. Sanders had called her to ask for the insurance details. She said he was very polite and asked for the insurance details so he could start sorting things out with them. He said his foot had got caught under the pedals and he was very sorry for any problems he had caused. Another local, who asked not to be named, said, we're hearing he could be let off with a fine for dangerous driving and that will be the end of the matter as far as police are concerned. But it's all hearsay at the moment. We are not really sure what's going on. People in Spain who drive in sandals risk being fined by police. Wearing sandals is not specifically banned, but if traffic cops feel a driver's footwear is potentially dangerous and flip-flops and high heels usually come under that category they can impose fines of around £70. Witnesses said he hit a curb outside a packed restaurant terrace around 7.45 p.m. on Sunday in Portal Mouse in Majorca near Upmarket Port Puerto Portals narrowly missing around 20 people before smashing through the glass front of the shop next door. Jose Martin, manager of a restaurant near the crash scene, said, we saw the car pass a few minutes earlier. The man was driving and the music was blaring and two very pretty South American women were in bikinis dancing and taking selfies. They pulled into the car park of the supermarket that was closed just down the road and were sat there for around five minutes. The next minute there was this tremendous noise and the car reversed up the road at speed and hit the curb just outside the restaurant terrace before spinning round and smashing into the tobacco shop next door. If he had hit the curb a few seconds earlier we could have been looking at a major loss of life. There were about 20 people on the terrace at the time. I took the number plate of the car down and called police, but by the time they arrived, the driver and the two women were gone.
They seemed initially to be in a state of shock and they were covered in glass from the broken shop window. They left the area on foot. Another witness, who asked not to be named, said, I've got friends who work at Nikki Beach and he told me they were there during the day. The driver looked the worse for wear when he got out of his car. Shock is one thing, but he seemed to me to be high on drink and possibly something else. He tried to drive away from the crash scene, but the steering on the Rolls Royce had gone, and he had to abandon the car because it wouldn't go any further. A spokesman for Calvia Council, which covers the Portals Naus area, confirmed local police had been called to an incident in the village of Puerto Portals on Sunday evening. She said, a UK plated car smashed into a shop front after the driver apparently lost control of the vehicle. No other cars were involved in the incident. A civil guard source said yesterday morning, we are still searching for the driver and two women who were in the car with him. They left the scene of the crash before officers arrived to breath test the driver and do a drugs test. The source said, the paperwork in the car didn't quite match the number plate, so that's another thing the driver will be questioned about when he is tracked down.